the best way uh, to deal with chest tube is to understand what is the concepts, how it works. Uh, in the three bottle uh, chest chambers, I'd like to emphasize that all they are doing the same principle. Like they have three chambers, three bottles. If I have here a, a water, okay, and I make five centimeter level of water, I will make suction. I will suck the air to from inside to go outside, okay? Now, the air which is here, it will be removed by the suction. Here we will have negative pressure, negative pressure inside this room. The negative pressure in this room will push the air to come from the atmosphere to release the negative pressure. There is air coming from outside to dig in and make bubble, okay? So here I will do suction and the air will come from atmosphere. Why? Because inside this room, negative pressure is there now. Negative pressure, okay? So to apply this example, here is the suction machine. Here is fluid. This is the fluid. And here is the, the two needle. One of them, the straw is this one, the large one. And this is the small one. One of them will be under the water. I will connect. Now, how much this negative pressure, it based on the water level. If I increase the water to become 10 centimeter, it will become more difficult for the air to come from the atmosphere. Okay, so I will increase the negative pressure here. The negative pressure here, it was five centimeter, okay? Now it's 10 centimeter. The pressure inside this room, okay? It based on not the suction wall, how much I'm doing suction, how much the negative, negative 80, negative 150. That one is not the, the deal. The deal is the level of the water. More water I put, more negative pressure will be inside the room because it will be difficult for the air to come from outside, from the atmosphere, because there is a lot of water. If I minimize the water, the pressure will be very, very little because air will come easily. That one, that point is really important. The patient is draining the air, draining the fluids, blood. I am uh, coming to uh, like record how much he uh, is giving me, what's the consistency, what's the color, etc. Patient has pneumothorax, some air will go inside. You might observe that this water is tiddling, moving with, with inhalation and exhalation. With inhalation, it will raise up, with exhalation, little bit down. Why? Because here the air is pushed by the patient and the same pressure here, it will be applied here. Tiddling is normal. Sometimes the, there is no tiddling, it means the lung is re-expanded totally. If the patient drain here like air, it will bubble. Some air is expected, especially in the pneumothorax. And when the patient will cough, if there is bubble here, okay, it might be air leak. There is air leak either from the patient or from the uh, system. The uh, suction machine is taking the air which is taken from the patient and apply pressure. The level of the water will determine how much the pressure applied to the patient. More water, it means more pressure will apply it for the patient before the air start to come from the atmosphere. This is our system, which we all use. The patient will give me the blood, the fluids, the bus. It will be accumulated here, and it will be initially in small chamber, small number, then it will become large. Now, the fluids, when the fluids will be filled, it will go to the fluids, it will go to the this chamber. So if there is fluids here, it will go to the this chamber and it will be accumulated here. If there is air coming from the patient, the air will go from the first chamber and it will go to be in the second chamber. But here in the second chamber, it will face what? It will face water. This water is two centimeter level water. And that one is important that it should not be more than two centimeter water. If we make it more than two centimeters, it will be difficult for the patient to drain the air. At the same time, I cannot make it less because there is a possibility the air will go back to the uh, patient. So the safety uh, measurement for this chamber is two centimeter and in the system, they call it zero. Zero, it means two centimeter. Now, the air which is coming here, it will be go through the suction, okay? Through the suction outside. The air will go through the sport. 
Now, it's really important to uh, now to understand why if I will put water here in the suction, it will go to the underwater seal. The negative pressure, which is in this room, negative 20 centimeter uh, water, it's applied at the end for the uh, patient. Here is the suction water where you will put here through this vent, you will put water okay, and make it as desired. You can tell I need uh, pressure, uh, low pressure, 10, 15 or 20. Maximum here is 20 centimeter water pressure in, in all of the systems, okay? Unless you will close this vent, which is not really used. That one is, is very rare, a very rare like cases that they close the event. I'd like to thank you for watching the second part of this topic and I hope you will join us in the third and last part.